people in Hull North are a bit fed up with a very small minority of young people who are blighting their community through antisocial behaviour. What more can this government do to help police forces like Humberside to actually deal with yeah. So we're here, photo shoot, content for my project that I'm dropping called Misfit. I feel like the idea came because in my life, I've always felt like a misfit. Grew up on Norfolk Estate, as a lot of people know, 21st Ave representee. Grew up on there with a, with a Nigerian mum and a big sister who ended up going to private school. So we've always been misfits. I've always come from a house of misfits. In terms of my own personal journey, I've always felt I was too white for the black kids, too black for the white kids. So I felt it was important in this project to start talking about some of my personal stories and I don't really make your stereotypical quote unquote black music. I don't talk about guns, I don't talk about drugs. I'm a Northern black boy and I'm proud. I speak with a Northern accent and I'm proud. What makes me a misfit is I'm determined to lead and I've got courage to stand up when nobody else has. Like, I know what that feeling feels like to be like, should I, should I, should I? And I've done it and it works. I feel I just don't follow trends or I'm not a sheep. I don't do what other people do. Especially when it's come to music, I've always just done my own thing and never really followed people's ideas. Yeah, when people jump on bandwagons and all that shit. I think being a misfit, is me not ever feeling enough of anything. So not smart enough, not pretty enough, not good enough, not bad enough. And not finding that enough that I fit into, like a, a box or a category, using that to be able to explore more within myself. I think my unwavering ability to just seek joy regardless of where it comes from and just completely go against what people assume you should be or what you should be into, no matter what, has happened throughout my life and my loves of music or comics or TV shows. If people are like, you shouldn't be watching that or black people can't be into that, it's like, well, I love it, I enjoy it, it brings me joy. And if people think it's odd, then they're the ones that are missing out. What am I bringing to the table? I think originality, being yourself, being authentic, Northern Nigerian energy. So I think my special power within me is my words and my passion um, and using that to break down barriers with people and to really connect with people, even people that I don't know, people that I don't relate to, just to bring everyone together. I think I'm bringing freedom and I think that we quite often don't realise that our freedom can be arrested based on societal sort of ideals and expectations from it. So I just want to make sure that people have the freedom to like what they want, do what they want, be what they want, explore what they want. And just the freedom just to have joy, isn't it? I'm bringing to the table recognition that I am strong, but also I want to celebrate that I'm only as strong as the people who carry me. I don't do this alone, I do this with a team mm. and we're as strong as each other. Mm. So that's what I'm bringing to the table is all of us, we're a collective and we're a group. I'm bringing to the table very fucking hard beats. Yeah. That's what I'm bringing to the table. And my special power is these lugs right here. When did you know you were a misfit? I think it was on a few times I went to Spires nightclub like in Hall. I had people asking me like, oh, what are you doing here? Should you be at like Biritz or the old position or something? And I'd be like, well, what do you mean? I have every right to, you know, hang out and rock out here and stuff. And it sort of made me feel like, a little bit empowered for standing up to that guy and like making him feel a bit, you know, awkward and uncomfortable for even asking me the question. I can, I think he came to me thinking he was gonna, he was gonna do something or make me feel like I don't belong. But I think that was one of the first times I was like, yeah, I have the right to, to belong and be anywhere. I realised I was a misfit in 1995 when I moved to Hull, wow. and there was no one else like me. So I suppose we've just carried on that trend. And along the journey, I've met others like me, mm. like you, mm. the other misfits. Like, we were a misfit, but we're a family. Most probably when I first started doing music, and people thought, what's he doing? And I thought, you know what, I'm not like these lot. I've just got to do my own thing. Fucking enjoy it. Do what you like, people. I realised I was a misfit around the time of leaving primary school, entering into high school, because my family moved down south for a couple of years. 
Um, and me and my sister were the only Northern people in the whole school. So I didn't really have a set or stable friendship with anyone. So I used to do laps around like the playground on lunch times and breaks when I didn't know where to go, too scared to use the cafeteria. Um, and I had this own world that I just invented in my head and this own vision that I had that I've kind of carried with me and continue to grow. Being a misfit should be celebrated. It's what we're about, we're unique. Who wants to be the same as somebody else? We're at the front. Misfits really, really do matter because for that kid who's got a pipe dream or that kid who isn't towing the line shouldn't be mistreated. They should be celebrated because I feel like everything should be celebrated. The school system's designed for like kids who are academic. Why? I was never academic myself and I've been able to prosper. I don't feel you should be took the piss out of for your differences. And I feel like it's time for different black experiences to be told. This project and this whole mentality that I'm coming with now, misfits will always prosper and misfits will always win. Anything goes or don't tell me to stick to a genre. Don't tell me to stick. Don't limit yourself. Don't let anyone out here ever con ya. Authentic rapper. So that's why most times I'm somber.